Hi there, my name's Vince, and in this video today I'm going to try to fix up this hot point Aquarius. So what's happening is, it's really weird, it keeps just making weird noises, and then you have to stop it and start it again, and stop it and start it again. It will dry the clothes, so the heater's working, but down here is filling up with water. So what I've done with this one years ago is I actually plumbed it into the main drain that the washing machine goes into. But now when I've got this running here, I'll show you in a minute, there's no water or anything coming out of this at all. And what I have to do is I have to actually physically siphon out the water from the bottom part here when you take out this uh, thing that you normally you know, undo here and clean out every now and then. So I'm wondering whether it's some kind of pump failure, whatever pumps the water out, I think may have stopped working. So watch this, if I do this one here, there's definitely heat building up here. I mean, it's warm to touch, and you can see all the condensation and water on this bit here. But yet, there's nothing dripping out of this, which is not right. So what's happening is it's filling up with water, and then it just keeps coming up with clean filter, empty water, clean condenser. So, uh, yeah, I think what we need to do is take it apart and see what's happening on the bottom here. See if we can work out why it's no longer getting rid of the water from here. Okay, so we've got it out of the garage onto the kitchen floor, so I've got room to work on it. Now, this is a condenser dryer, meaning that you don't have to have a separate vent going outside to vent the hot air away. The idea is it's supposed to vent itself and then you can take this out and then you can drain that into a sink. But because I've already plumbed it in to where the washing machine drains to, that's why I've got the long pipe going off there. Water shouldn't be collecting in this bottom area down here. So I think I'm gonna to try to tip it on its back or probably, actually I'll probably tip it on its side. I wanna to get to the bottom of it just to see what's going on. Why is it not draining properly? Now, obviously, it goes without saying, it's unplugged. Take this video purely as entertainment. I've never taken this one apart before. I don't actually understand how it works. I presume the hot air comes out and it goes through this big thing at the bottom. And uh, I presume in doing that, it gathers water after it comes out of this here. And we can take this out now. I presume this is the thing that maybe the hot air goes over with the uh, wet kind of moisture in it and then uh, it condensates maybe on this and then maybe it gets sucked up from this at the back. Don't really know. But let's see if we can fix it with uh, zero knowledge or skill on it. Okay, so I've popped it on its side now and I can see a big motor here, but that must be the motor to actually turn the drum. I think I'm interested in what's going on here because this is where it must get pumped from here and then it goes out of the tube here into my drain or originally it would have gone up this black tube here into the top and you could empty it into the sink by pulling out the container. So I think I need to somehow get in here. Can't really see how to do that. It looks like the whole bottom bit is one piece of molded plastic. I think to, to begin with, I'm gonna undo these screws up the side here and see whether the side panel will come off and then it might give me more access into the area. I need to take the top off first. Right, okay, so that comes off by undoing the two screws and just basically whacking it backwards. Okay, that's now come off. I still can't see how to uh, get to this area here. I can see it's starting to work loose, but it looks like it's attached to this back one here. So if in doubt, take more screws out. I'm gonna now take off the other side, and then I'm hoping I can take off the back then after I take off the other side. That might allow me then to lift this up. Maybe instead of lifting this down, I might be able to lift this up. Now 
Now obviously I'm not bothered about the floor here. If you were bothered, put down a bit of carpet or an old rag or something like that. Right, you can actually see down the bottom here, it's full of water. And it's all wet down here. You can see it's not very old, 14th of the 4th, 15. I'm just gonna dry everything up. Okay, so I've got the top off and I've got both sides off now. Originally I was thinking about taking the back off, but the axle and everything goes through here, so I don't want to get involved in that. I've got to be really careful, it looks like there's a massive capacitor down here, so obviously I'm not going to be touching any of that, because even though this is off, you can see it's unplugged, there still might be charge left in components, so I'm not going to go near that. I'm going to put it back on its side again, I really want to see if there's a way that I can unclip this down here. Right, so I can see two clips here and here. Now, annoyingly with this one, I've managed to uh, break the little plastic bit. But look, let's try to do this one down here. All right, so there we go, that one's out. So now, is this gonna loosen up? There we go. Oh, ha ha. Oh, yuck. Right, okay. Is this our problem? Has it just got all blocked up with lint everywhere? Look at that in there. Yuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Right, so uh, would that stop it from spinning and sucking and doing what it needs to do? Maybe, look at the, wow, look at this. Whoa, that's disgusting. It's like jelly. Look at this. I wonder if that's the problem. It's just all got blocked up everywhere. And maybe it can't suck up. I don't know, see, I don't understand how it works yet, but I'll tell you what, it looks like there's something here that might spin or do something. Let's, let me clean all this out, and then uh, look at that. Yeah, I think it's got blocked up with lint. All down here as well. Right, so I suppose it's not being cleaned out enough. I'm going to get some gloves on and I'm going to give all this a nice good, uh, good clean. Look at that. And then we might be able to work out how this mechanism's working. The little tab that I've broke, I've just put some super glue on it and I'm just actually using the super glue to put pressure on the tab here while it goes off and I've just put the screw back in here to hopefully hold that in place. I think when I put it back in, it will snap again straight away, but you never know, it might, it might hold. Uh, right, let's get cleaning. Oh, here you go, look, I think I might know. Listen, can you hear that? So it's like a float mechanism, and this is made out of polystyrene. Now, if that was blocked up with this horrible jelly, oh, that stuff, this doesn't smell too bad, a little bit of egg smell to it. It's not gonna be able to lift up or down, is it? So I suppose it's not gonna know really when to pump. It was filling up with water, wasn't it? And this is gonna fill up with water, this is gonna move up. But if it can't, it's gonna keep on filling up with water. And I suppose the pump then doesn't know that there's water in it because maybe it has to click before the pump kicks in because that means there's water at the bottom. Fantastic, that must be it. Okay, I thought I'd type it into Google just the uh, hot point Aquarius in the model number. And I put in pump and look here, it says pump and float kits. And that's what this part is, isn't it? This bottom bit here is the float and this bit here must be the pump. So I suppose the pump is at its lowest, the lowest point and the float tells the pump to kick in or not. I just want to see what it's like above, above this bit here. There we go. So, oh, here we go. Here is the little micro switch. It's this bit here. This is the micro switch here with the blue wires. Did the red wires go off to uh, the actual pump itself? Yeah, 100% this, uh, this is the problem. I wonder can this come out? 
Yes, it can. There we go. Oh, so that just goes up into that hole, yeah. There. Well, I'm going to clean that under the tap. unbelievable the amount of compacted lint and jelly like stuff in there anyway look in there lovely and clean now and my floats being cleaned I'm surprised that they just used polystyrene I would have thought maybe polystyrene would have broken down over the years but it's held up okay do you know I never really put much thought into it I wouldn't have thought polystyrene was very waterproof but uh, obviously here must be so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean all in here as well you can see that there's just a build up absolutely everywhere. I'm just going to use a, a fluffy duster. Hopefully that will pick up most of it. Okay, nearly there now. I can see a little hole here. So obviously this is where the water comes out and then it fills up in this area here. And you can see we have like sort of separate compartments and this is where the float is. So the water comes in from this side and then when the float lifts up, it must then turn this pump on here, which drains away the pump down this tube here, which ends up going down the drain. Or the other option was to have it come straight up into this bit here. So the pump must be quite powerful because it's got to travel up about a metre to get into this area here. So uh, yeah, that's all good. So I just have to pop the float back on now, but it's good to know that you can buy these because they are going to be a thing that can fail. There we go. It goes on as simple as that. Excellent. Well happy with that. So I just need to pop this back together. So really, I didn't need to take much apart at all. So you need to take off the top, the side panel in order that you can unclip it from the inside. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. So not really a big job when you understand what's what. See if we can pop this back in. So I'm gonna have to take my glue out. This has to go in here. God, my clip actually held. So, hold on a minute now. That's, uh... yeah, I suppose I was gonna say how can water doesn't leak out of this bit here, but it doesn't get that high, does it? Because the whole point is the pump will take it out of there. Yeah, because that's not really, that's not actually waterproof there. Right, okay, that's, that's good. So you can see now my clip has actually held just here and the clip at the bottom has gone in as well. So all I have to do is put the sides back on, put the top back on, and we are finished and we can test it. Well, there's a bit of a knack to putting these on. So we have a hole here at the top, which is gonna to correspond to the top of the uh, dryer. And we have to put the bottom on first because there's holes that need to line up here, like so. Then we need to push it in this way because there's holes here that need to line up with little metal clips, like that, and then we can screw it in. I'm going to put the front bit in first, put that down. Oh, there we go. And now screw in here and here. Okay, I think I can say with confidence that that is now fixed. We'll put a wash on now and then we'll get throw it in the dryer. And uh, we'll see this time if water is coming out of that little waste pipe just down there. Okay, so we've got some sheets in here now. You can see it working away for itself. And what I've done is I've just pulled the pipe out. Normally the pipe goes in here and uh, it's just in here. So let's leave that for a while now and see if that fills up with water. Well, it's just been a few minutes later, but I can see a little bit of fluff that's come out of it. So it's cleaning the pipe and uh, I can see a little dribble there. 
And the good news is it hasn't turned itself off yet, while beforehand it often used to turn itself off not that long after putting it on. Right, okay. So it's kind of interesting, it's just every now and then it would just dump a load out. So I suppose when the float goes up, that's when it starts dumping. But you can see it's really coming out now. Right, great news. They're all nice and dry, which is fantastic. And check out the water that came out of it here. So you can see a good amount of water came out. So that is it for this video. A nice, simple, easy fix. Hopefully that will help you out if you've got the same problem. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it, give it a massive thumbs up and I will hopefully see you all very soon. Take care.